there are places in this world that are too beautiful for words. Places that not only take your breath away, but that breathe new life into you, change you in unexpected and amazing ways. One of these places is the Faroe Islands. The Faroe Islands are part of the Kingdom of Denmark and are comprised of 18 rocky volcanic islands located between Iceland and Norway in the North Atlantic Ocean. The islands are connected by roads, tunnels, ferries, and bridges. Hikers and bird watchers are drawn to the island's mountains, valleys, and steep coastal cliffs that harbor thousands of seabirds. The word pharaoh simply translates to sheep, making these the sheep islands. This is due to the fact that while there are roughly 50,000 people on the islands, there are estimated to be 70,000 sheep. In June of 2019, Acoustic Eidolon, featuring Joe Scott and Hannah Alkire, joined their German colleague, Celtic harpist Thomas Lofka, on the Faroe Islands for eight performances as part of the Faroese Sommartonar Music Festival. These concerts took place in a variety of venues, the most unusual being a sea cave, where the audience and musicians shared a boat in a spectacular cave with acoustics reminiscent of the legendary cathedrals of Europe. All right, so here we are on the Faroe Islands getting ready for our cave concerts. We have to take uh, that boat right out there, out to some sea caves. They provide these incredible oversuits that float, evidently. And there's Thomas Lovka tuning up his cave harp. Joe and Hannah performed on a guitar and a cello, each constructed from carbon fiber. These instruments are designed for travel in harsh weather conditions. The journey to the caves was an adventure in itself. I think this is amazing. It's the most unique way to meet the audience, for sure. But I have the biggest paddle in the boat, so all is well. And see how it goes. In between their performances, there was plenty of time for hikes around the islands, exploring the unparalleled natural beauty. From incredible shorelines to majestic mountaintops, they found inspiration by simply opening their eyes. While there, Acoustic Eidolon shot a music video for Hannah's solo cello piece, The Journey from Water to Sky. The Faroe Islands provided a perfect backdrop for this powerful composition and performance. They chose the location of Kalsoy, not only for its beauty, but for the famous Faroese sculpture of the Seal Woman. This stunning nine-foot bronze and stainless steel statue of Copacanan is based on the Faroese myth of the Selkie, a seal who shed her skin and married a man and then found her skin again years later and returned to the sea. With two weeks, eight concerts, and a lifetime of memories behind them, Joe and Hannah headed home, their lives enriched having experienced the awesome beauty that is the Faroe Islands.